What's up, buddy? What's up, and welcome to Lunchtime in the Lab, your number one gambling podcast for quick picks. I am your host, as usual. Is your show done, really? You're right. Three. What bad timing. What's up, guys? My uh, Apparently, my son's show ended as soon as I hopped on here. I'll be right back. Y'all y'all talk to yourself. Let's go. Hurry. Hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry. hurry, hurry. Good job. <coughs> okay. Apologies. <sighs> There's not many people in here right now anyway. Okay. All right. Yeah. Today's been rough. Uh, of course, I, I started up and, you know, my my son takes off or comes running in and the show is show's not going or something like that. So um, I actually don't have any graphics with this. I do have some notes, though. So you're just going to have to stare at my face, I guess, the whole time when I talk, which uh, so sorry about that. Let's see. <clears throat> Get my other. What the hell's my other screen? At? What's going on here? Yeah, I did see that. That's crazy. Why can't I hit stuff like that? Okay, all right, we'll get going though, guys. A little later than normal, we were supposed to have a UFL gambling show, or you know, just talking about the UFL, that new, that new, um, <clears throat> you know, that new uh, football league or whatever, you know. Uh, but unfortunately, Ty had some bad weather in his area, and his internet cut off like literally as we were about to go live at eleven o'clock today. Uh, so if you, if you, you know, you were interested in the show, like I apologize, we did get to do it last week. We'll be back with it, you know, uh, for week what is it, week four or something like that. Uh, I did put out a parlay for the UFL though. So super, uh, you know, nice little four, four leg plus 900 or something we talked about that would have been on the show. So that's on my Twitter at live Joe bets. If you want to check that out. Uh, but we'll get going with the place here. Kind of burn through it a little quickly here is everything's just kind of discombobulated. And there's some earlier games on that. I, I kind of want to still get into here. Um, and, uh, you know, take a look at, we got actually the one game, Yankees and Guardians have started already. I have a same game parlay going there, or actually starts in about 10 minutes. But here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, first of all, thanks so much for joining. Uh, you know, on a on a Saturday at noon. Uh normally viewers and everything like that is a little lower in the week. Actually, it depends. Sometimes it's busier, sometimes it's lower. Today, obviously, gonna be a little lower. Probably should have streamed on Twitter as well. But hey, what, what are we gonna do? Um, let me see. I think I I did say we were live. So we'll get going. If you're watching this live, appreciate you guys are in here with me. If you're watching on a recorded version, thanks so much as well. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe button, all that stuff. Before we get into today's plays, as usual, we'll take a look back and see what we did yesterday. Weird day. Frustrating day, actually. Um, yesterday, we had the Twins and the Tigers under seven and a half. I mean, we were on autopilot. We were coasting. I was kicked back. I had already cashed the uh, Maybe not that far, but... I thought we were looking fantastic uh, cruising along. And then, you know, the Tigers put up three runs. And the next inning, they put up like two. And it's the eighth inning. And we're staring down, you know, it's a seven runs. And then Tigers end up scoring that eighth run. You know, Twins did score some at the top of the ninth. So, I mean, like, hey, like we ended up going over anyway. But I can't believe the Tigers scored eight themselves. Um, certainly a bet that I think we should have cashed. But, you know, what are we going to do? Braves team total over four and a half with a money line. That that came in absolutely no problem. That was a nice hit there. Uh they were, you know, slow going. They had, they were like two for 12 and runners in scoring position with like, like two, uh, with only the two runs scored that I, I looked and they had, they had hit a double to start the lead off the inning in like three straight games or something like that. I mean, they were, they were hitting well, they just weren't scoring, but then they cracked it open. We, we got it there. The Astros first five team total over two and a half runs, uh, you know, came in pretty easily for us there as well. If you're in the discord, we went two and zero on college baseball uh brought in uh and then we ran the uh the braves game in there went three and one <clears throat> three and one up uh one point you know eight units or something because i had some 0.25 some little lottos and stuff there that brought us down but uh you know i had, had a profitable day in there so we'll certainly take it today though april 13th a saturday we'll pull the well i don't have graphics so i'll get the notes here 
<coughs> I I do have a little uh, you know two leg home run parlay in this first game. I, I got I got a good feeling about the uh, some lefties I talked about yesterday. Um, I have college baseball pulled up. I was waiting for this Duke game that was supposed to start. It was rained out yesterday and it was supposed to start at noon today, and the line just never popped up for it. Um, and then, like, I don't think FanDuel has any college baseball up right now. It's just such a frustrating sport to try to bet on. Oh, they do have a little bit up now. Um, to the point that I thought, like, the, the Florida State's pitcher, you know, the ace was supposed to be going, but it was misinformation. Then somebody in the Discord actually, uh, his his brother actually pitches for one of the teams. Um, and he's like, hey, yeah, like today it's this person going and tomorrow like this person's arm is sore or something. So it's unfortunate that, you know, I have to get insider information to be able to like accurately get on, you know, be able to do this. That's kind of why I gave up betting college baseball, because like there's just no information. Um, it's there's just you don't know who's pitching. You don't know what's going on outside of Friday. There's a website called like Friday Starters. Friday, Saturday, Sunday it has some information on it. Everything else is just gone, you know, so like I'm going to come back to it because like, it, yeah, like I am, you know, pretty decent at it. Um, I can pull it up actually here. I think I'm up like tw I might be pushing like 30 units in college baseball. I'm about to about to tell you right now. 25.97 units in college baseball. It's not bad. I haven't bet it in like three weeks. So I do have like a plus 245 parlay. It's four legs that I really like today. Um, all home teams too. So, you know, I got that advantage thinking about putting a unit on that. So stay tuned in the discord. If you're in there, probably drop that after I get out of the, get out of the podcast here. But first play for today is going to be, we're going to run it back. Astros first five team total over two and a half, uh, was sitting at minus minus one twenty when I, you know, wrote this up, I'm going to try to pull it up. I told you, like I said, I apologize to bear with me. I, uh, you know, was trying to do this other show and then being, you know, being uh watching my son and stuff here too minus 120 right now so we're looking good astros first five team total minus 120 like this first five here because we're gonna fade andrew haney i think it's how you say it run it back here we're gonna run it back they cashed for us yesterday he's 0-2 to start with a 7.56 era uh he just faced this astros lineup uh i think like seven days a week ago gave up six runs and just 3.2 innings pitched uh, I'm going to pull up Swish here so I can see the batter versus pitcher comparison. And it, it looks pretty good. Another reason why I wanted to jump on it. <clears throat> this guy's a lefty. The Astros hit, hit lefties really well. You look at uh, – Ale and then these guys have – I mean, they're, they've are they they've batted against them. I mean, some of these guys have hit against them 40 times already. Not hit, but, you know, batted against them. Alex Bregman bats 342 with 40 at bats, 13 hits, a home run. Um Altuve bats 317, two home runs, four doubles. He's got 13 hits on him. Jordan Alvarez, 0.412 on the uh on the batting average against him is hit hit seven times on 17 at bats, a 400 batting average. Dubon, 0.333. Abreu's hit four home runs against him, 2.38. Uh Chaz McCormick batting 250 on him. Uh, you know, so like these guys have hit him. The guys are super familiar with them and they just faced him a week ago, so we, there, there's even more familiarity with it. Um, the, the familiarity, like, lineup, like, career-wise, and then the fact that they just saw him a week ago, I mean, it just it just screams that they – why not hit him again? I mean, they they hit him real hard the first time this bet cashed. I don't, we weren't on it, but it would have cashed for us if we were on it in the first matchup. Um, and then to take it at just a hair, a hair farther, in his last three starts – this bet would have cashed every time that they played each other. He's given up three, three, and six earned runs within the last three starts, none of them making it out of the fifth inning. So the Astros have been able to get to Haney. Haney, I think, like I said, I think, hey, I thought Isaac was Isaac, but it's Isak. So Haney, I, it might not even be that. Pronunciations in baseball can be a little wild. That's the first play. First play is Astros team total over two and a half. That's a fan. Uh, DraftKings bet. Uh, Fanatics might have it. So on and so forth. Not on FanDuel, though. <clears throat> FanDuel would be the full game team total, which I am not probably overly fond of. Let me look at something real quick. Let's see. Uh, tech, where are the Rangers? Bullpen. Where the hell? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
The Rangers are middle of the pack. They're 15th best in bullpen ERA. So, like, if you don't have that first five option, I don't know what the full game team total is. That would certainly be your your change up. But uh, if you don't have DraftKings for baseball, it's time to it's time to sign up. It's uh, you know having having multiple books for it. You know, very very uh, very important. Second play, we're gonna go with the Reds versus the White Sox. Let me look at the line here. Make sure it's still the same. Like I said, I apologize that we're kind of just hopped in here. Over seven and a half is what we're running. This feels scary. Uh, I've taken a White Sox under already. The Reds, you know, like hit or miss sometimes. They seem like they're hitting more often than they're missing right now. But we're going to ride the Red Sox first. Uh, I'm sorry, the Reds versus the White Sox over seven and a half. Uh, you can find that pretty well available everywhere. Um, like I said, it might be a little crazy looking at these two teams. But before only putting up one run against the Reds in that 111 loss they just had against them, I think it was yesterday, uh, they hit the Guardians really well. They scored six and seven runs against the Guardians, which I would argue has a better pitching staff than what the Reds have. And they were able to jump all over the Guardians in those those games, proving that they have some bats. They know how to use them, you know, at times. But the main play here, though, the Reds have Nick Lodolo going, who is not very good, to be honest. Um, coming off an of injury, uh, first start of the year, before his injury in his last five starts, he had made it to the fifth inning just two times. So he's been knocked out early in his a lot of his starts. Like I said, injury. He only pitched in the May last year. He's been out since then. I don't know what kind of injury. He might be on a short leash. Uh, we may run into uh, you know some bull, some early bullpen action here. Looking at the – and I, I don't even have this as a note. This is on the fly. Looking at the bullpen, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The White Sox are the 11th worst bullpen. The, the Reds are the 13th worst bullpen. So if Lodolo gets in trouble here early or he's on a short leash, we're going to hand it over to a bullpen that is giving up a pretty decent amount of runs. Before uh, – or in his last five starts, he's given up <coughs> – tired of being sick, guys. He's given up three, three, six, eight, and two runs given up. So he has been hit pretty hard here recently. The White Sox have Garrett Crochet going. I've talked about this man. Uh pretty solid guy's been guy's been great he started three times tall lengthy lefty you know got a snap uh similar to chris snail chris sale i said snail sale chris sale um i i feel like he's due for some regression i mean the white Sox can't have nice things there's no way this guy's gonna come out and pitch you know really well here consecutively times in a row i think garrett crochet is due for a dud unfortunately you have guys uh ellie de la cruz on the the Reds here has homered in back-to-back -back starts against a left against a left-handed pitcher. Crochet, obviously a left-handed pitcher. Reds are hitting very well. We only need eight runs to cash. Eight runs, seven and a half is a pretty low total. Of course, yesterday we were on a seven and a half on the under, but I told you how much I liked it. I loved it yesterday. Um, I really like this over. I really like this over today. I think that if the White Sox can put up two to three runs, we're going to cash this one no problem. If the White Sox only put up one run, I don't know if the Reds are going to do seven by themselves. Um, I'm hoping that we get a mixture of, you know, both teams here together, you know, kind of going in and on each other or whatever. But uh, we'll take the over seven and a half as our second play in the Reds and the White Sox game there. So I was trying to see if Aaron Judge was going to do anything. I'm so tired of watching this guy just not hit, like always. Before we hop into third play, as usual, make sure you hit that like button. and Make sure you hit the subscribe button for me as well. I think I got a subscriber as I was talking to Ty earlier, so I may have hit 700. Let's see. Yep, 700. I'll take it. I have subscribers. We are now on the hunt for 800, really 1,000, but we gotta, we'll keep riding. We'll keep going. Uh, make sure you hit that like button for me, too. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for me, too. Uh, last play, though. Last play today is going to be the Diamondbacks. First five team total over two and a half. Guys, these first five bets um, really wasn't something that I've 105 mile an hour. Fly ball to right field. Looks like it's a pop-up, though. I'm not watching. I'm just looking at it on fan on uh, FanDuel. Yeah, go, go Vikings. Ooh, he hit a double. Look at that. I don't. I don't have him. I needed. A, I need Soto to hit a home run. Anyway, the 
it's a bet I discovered last year and I found like I just I just like it. It's a way that I like to bet on the MLB. I like to fade the opposing pitchers. I mean, that's what MLB betting is. It's 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 pitcher matchup versus you know batter, or it's just like hey, like taking advantage of a pitcher in you know his history against a team or something like that. Diamondbacks first five team total over two and a half is the play. Um nice. So judge just catch that then for sport. Good job. Uh, Kyle Gibson, Kyle Gibson's going today. Kyle Gibson was just tuned up by the Marlins. If you didn't know, the Marlins may be the worst team in the league. Ah, the White Sox probably fighting them with that one, but in just six inning pitch, he gave up seven hits and seven runs. In fact, he actually gave up six runs in the first inning to the Marlins. So obviously that would have been a very, very quick cash. It would not have been two and a half. It would have been one and a half or something like that. Um, Kyle Gibson, not a big strikeout guy. The guy does not have stuff, right? He's more of a pitch to contact type hitter. And the Diamondbacks actually strike out the least amount in the majors, which means that we are going to have a lot of contact in this game. A lot of contact with the Diamondbacks. Guys, this Diamondbacks lineup is nasty. Uh, I mean, rivals the Braves, in my opinion. And it just matter, it just depends on whether or not. Like they're hitting and like they kind of get goofy and everything like that. But the Diamondbacks at home are six and to uh, have hit this number in six of eight games. So at home, they're hitting really well. Of course, they had the benefit of getting the Rockies at home first. I mean, they that was, you know, four quick overs. They were absolutely smashing against the, the Yankees. They were able to kind of get going and stuff, you know, there too. Um, but they've been able to put up crooked numbers, numbers with the best of them. They, they've had, uh, many games where they come out scoring three in the first inning. Um, in fact, uh, at least three of them, I could think of off the top of my head where they scored three running three runs. I mean, just super quick. They have, you know, uh, Guriel has been, dudes have been mashing the ball, Christian Walker. They got a lot Corbin, um, Corbin Carroll, right? Gets on base, gets on base, uh, you know, pretty, pretty often, pretty readily. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't be paying attention to a Yankees game at the same time that I'm trying to do this. Hey, bud, I'm almost done. Ooh, did Torres just go yard? Hey, oh no, there's a pop. Go, buddy. Okay, sorry, a lot of distractions today. Um, with the way that they've been hitting at home, uh, the way the Diamondbacks have been hitting at home, they get Kyle Gibson. The way that Kyle Gibson has got tuned up by the Marlins recently. And it's supposed to, I mean, it's in, it's in Arizona where it's warmer, but like, it's like warm enough to the point that like we, the ball is going to be traveling well, you know, humidity is going to be getting to the right point to where there's all these factors in baseball that like, you know, makes the ball travel better where it seems like the balls are, you know, quote unquote juiced or whatever. Um, we're getting to the point in some of these warm areas where it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, you know, getting going or something, you know? Um, so. That'll be the play. That'll be the third play today. I'll recap it here. We'll get the uh, the audio side out of here. Like I said, you know, it's going to be a little 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 uh, shorter of a show. Um, man, I just feel like I've been I haven't eaten anything today. Um, trying to do like I said, trying to do that UFL show. Had some technical difficulties there, unfortunately, on the other with my uh, co-host. Um, and uh, you know, and that's what that's what's kind of hard about doing college baseball and MLB at the same time is that like. I because the information is not like readily available college baseball, I have to like work to do it, which I guess I mean, I've proven that I'm pretty good at it. But, uh, you know, you have to do a little more work into it than than you than you would or whatever. Um, but as usual here, we'll recap it. Now's the time. If you guys have any particular questions or anything like that, go ahead and drop them. Um, I want to I I said I had a dream that I hit I hit a home run parlay. Uh I haven't even I, I got one guy that I like today. Um but uh go ahead and pop any questions out in there. We can chat if you guys have like home run people you really like and I mean I mean not necessarily stats, but like you know, why do we like it? You know, we can maybe look at that and maybe build one together. Uh I can give you what I was thinking. Uh but to recap though, today on Saturday, April 13th for lunchtime in the lab for the audio side of things here. We are going to run the Astros first five team total over two and a half. We're going to run that one back again tonight. Reds versus the White Sox over seven and a half runs. And then the third play is going to be the Diamondbacks first five team total over two and a half. 
As always, thanks so much for listening. Be sure to follow me on all social medias at Live Joe Betts. And I will see you guys back. Hopefully, I think back on schedule at 1130 tomorrow. Obviously, audio, you guys don't get it at 1130. I'm live at 1130. I then have to post it. So I think it comes out by noon or something. I, I don't know how it I don't know how it works audio side. Uh, been a little more focused YouTube side of things or whatever, but still, you know, trying to make sure it gets out for those people that maybe watch later and everything like that. But appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys back uh, tomorrow. Yeah, of course, LA Daily Cruz hit one, but it's not like that was uh, the only one. Uh, yeah, I've had I've had a lot of two and threes. I don't know how many home run parlays that I've put out, but uh, I, I've. I feel like nearly half of them I finished at two and three this year, which is a little frustrating. Not the best feeling. Yeah. And then I paid it. I saw the, I saw Kyle Tucker hit and it's like, all right, like, you know, like the dude in between everybody that we were, you know, like, I think he bats in between like Diaz and, and uh, Alvarez or whatever, but it's always that way guys. I mean, like it's hey, if it was easy, we uh we'd be millionaires. I'd be a millionaire. So So the only real like first gosh, it's a late game too. I, I keep looking at I keep looking at Machado and his history that he has against Gavin Stone. Machado, what's going on here? Hit the wrong button. He he said he's faced them three times with uh two hits, and both of them have been home runs. Yeah, Chuck, that's so that's the website. Like I've used I use that, but then unfortunately, like it's it's not even then it's not always a hundred percent. Like in 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 case of the person that I know where his brother pitches on the team, he's like, Yeah, that person's not pitching today. But that, that's primarily what I use. Anyhow, <clears throat> Manny Machado is like one of my – really, it's just based off – it's based off the history. He's plus 420. Um, like I said, he's faced Gavin Stone twice, three times. He's hit a whole – he's got two hits against them. Both have been home runs. So why not? Also, I do think there's actually a chance of rain in that game, though, if I'm not mistaken, in the uh, the Dodgers game, which isn't something that happens very often. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, anybody that's in here, do you all have – does anybody have – have uh, we got got some home run talks here. Ozuna, Otani, and Trout. Hey, Trout has been – I haven't been on Trout in a minute. I just can't back Otani. I can't get him right. I Like, I needed Otani to hit a home run, and you would think that would have been, you know, like feeling all good about it, and he did – you know, he obviously did nothing either. Trout, I don't, I'm not really sure who this guy is that Trout's going against. Like I said, I like Machado just based off of his history. Hmm. I haven't seen any – part of me wanted to take Ellie again, but there's no way Ellie hits another – no way Ellie hits another home run. And then Ozuna, yeah, like, and then it gets to the point, like, it's like, are you just taking like the same dang people all the time? But <sighs> there was a re, I don't know, like, there was a report, and I like, I haven't seen it recently, but it would, and it used to be actually like a popular dude on Twitter would post it, and it would just show how many home runs like that pitcher has given up in the year, um, and that was always, you know, kind of something like beneficial to look at. Ozuna plus three ninety. Um, TJ, I have, I have the same feeling to be honest, because they just face him. Like Blanco's been looking, he's been fantastic, but like they just faced him like pretty recently, you know, ago. So I feel like it's going to be, uh, I feel like they could, they could get to him and they've been hitting so well. Where's that game at? It's a four o'clock game. It's in a dome. 
Part of me says Ellie, guys, part of me says Ellie because, like I said, he said a home run in back to back games against a lefty. But I tell you, I always feel so weird about taking somebody on like a streak. And he's plus, I mean, we'll add him in for a second just because I was, I was half feeling it. Plus 520. And I, you know, it almost does need to be an ash. So if I'm talking about how the Astros have all this good, uh, this good, you know, matchup, and you were going after the first five team total, it would 100 percent make sure make sense to have an Astro on the on the, the the thing here. And then Tucker is a little streaky. Tucker could be a good option. Did Tuck, Did I not read? He's also faced him though 12, 18 times, and he's only hit once. He bats .083 against them. That's scary. I don't think Tucker's going to hit a home run. Part of me wanted to say Altuve. Yeah, and then, you I mean, you can't always look at history. It's just like, obviously... I seen somebody hit a home run that it's just like who are those people? Like I'm not wasn't even really sure. Wasn't even really sure like who who those people are. Um <laughs> and he hit he hit like all four of them or something like that. Um George Springer, you said that twice, didn't you? Yeah. What's up with George Springer? Let's look at George Springer. Let's look at his versus Dakota Hudson. He has one hit against them. Two hits against him, one double and a home run. So he's hit him hard. I didn't realize I still had that message pulled up. Righty on righty. What about uh Payday, I forgot you said that. So that's what another reason that I was uh we went Diaz the other day because that's that was smart. So maybe Alvarez would be a good look to go after him today. Both of Springer's home runs this year have come from righties. He actually doesn't have a hit against a lefty yet this year. Every and then Quandale, I like I said, I think I say your name right. Everybody seemed everybody hit a home run but Freddie Freeman yesterday. I think Ellie, I think Ellie's too much of a risk. Manny Machado, I like the matchup. Like I said, like that's the one that's stuck in my head. I think Jordan Alvarez is a good look because he he did not hit yesterday. <sighs> that's plus two thousand. If we went the George Springer option, I don't, I don't hate that. He, when you think of home runs, I guess it's not like the first person that you're thinking of. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's what I, yeah, you did hear that. Freeman, yeah, Freeman definitely not hitting like he used to though. I could I could see back I could see back in George Springer. Not a big fan of taking a lead off to hit a home run though, but I mean like that's certainly okay. Salvador Perez, I kind of had I was I was afraid of going against Manea. I think Lado, I think Ladolo is gonna throw like some meatballs today. But, like, who on the White Sox is hitting home runs? If Luis, like, once again, if Luis Robert was out there, like, as a White Sox fan, I don't even know who, like, half these people are. Like, Andrew Vaughn would be the thought. But, like, I think Lodolo, I think Lodolo is going to get hit. Has Vaughn faced him? Yeah, Vaughn's 0-3 against them. Go figure. Oh, guys. Like, Salvador Perez has faced Manea, Min, Min, Sean Manea, however the hell. He's got two home runs against them. I 
Let's see. All but all Perez's home runs this year have been off righties instead of lefties. So like that's you know that's not an awesome matchup. Guys, I don't know who to take as the third one. Watch a watch a Brayu hit a home run or something like that. The pitcher versus pitcher matchup I just posted in the comments. It's Swish Analytics, and then and then Baseball Savant has like the like split stats. Bobby Witt has faced. Did you say Witt? Yeah, I looked at him too. Like he has a home run against them, but like he's also one and six against them. Once again, doesn't really mean anything. Like then you do all this like you know quote unquote research and stuff, and then like it's half the shit doesn't even matter. He has Bobby Witt has Bobby Witt bats three sixty seven versus righties, but only one twenty five versus lefties. He's at three home runs versus righties and one. He has literally one hit against a lefty, and it's been a home run. So that's probably not. That's probably not a look. It's been a while since Matt Olson's hit a home run, though, huh? He hit a double the other day, yesterday. So, I mean, he was hitting the ball well. You may have just sold me. He's also Matt Olson versus Wrighty is batting 345. I like Matt Olson. That's the last. I think that's the winner. Where do the Braves play? Who the hell? Am I crazy? Oh, here they are. Plus 9,067. That's the play. Yeah, I couldn't find it. I kept scrolling over it. It was so that's that's the way it's gonna be. We're gonna have at four o'clock, we'll have Jordan Alvarez and Matt Olson playing at the same time. And then we're gonna roll into the Dodgers game. And we're gonna be on uh i my my gut Machado play. You know, he's got a good history after him, and uh, you know, we'll see what we'll see what happens. It just dropped to plus eight eighty four. That's what we're gonna do, though. Um, that's it, though. We're I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and and hop out of here. I'll post this in the Discord and on uh, Twitter for those of you that are you know not in both of those sections or whatever. Um, but yeah, I gotta go. I personally need to eat something, and uh, I gotta actually get this college baseball play out. Game start in like thirty minutes, so I got I got some work to do, man. I'm busy today. Uh. I uh, appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Let's see. Recap, though, here just one time real real quick again. Astros first five team total over two and a half is the first play. Second play, Reds versus White Sox over seven and a half. And then D-backs first five team total over two and a half. If you're watching and you're still in the Discord, I don't have any official quote-unquote plays out or whatever yet. Um, you know, it's okay to take these plays, you know, because obviously I think they're going to hit. But I give what I think is the absolute best. And I still got to decide for that, those of you that are in the Discord. but. I will see you guys back tomorrow at 1130 and hopefully kind of get back to like that, like normal, like 1130 every day and get, get rid of some of these. Although my wife starts work Monday, she goes back to work. She's been off for like a, she started a new job. She had the last month off or whatever. Uh, so life's going to be a little different and we'll see how that goes, but I, we should be okay. Anyhow, I'll see you guys back uh, tomorrow at 1130.